How's it going everybody? Goldhead here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 11 of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla walkthrough guide and in this entry we are going to be focusing on the missions A Triumphant Return and Raising Iron. So picking up right where we left off, we have pledged to East Anglia, we have completed the Kingmaker and measuring a Norseman, and now we are ready to go to our Triumphant Return and we are just going to fast travel back to Northwick. Once we arrive in Northwick, we are going to want to talk to Oswald. He is going to be over here on the docks, and we will get a cutscene, and I will talk to you right after that. Oh, that's silver. No battle dented Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Valis is right. There will be others. If I had seen any more, I would have killed them too. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They'll be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scout. So for our next objective, and that is going to be finding that scout, we're going to go ahead and get him real quick. The location is right behind us under this bridge. We're just going to go past that bridge to the right, and he'll just be standing there, and we can go ahead and assassinate him, tie him up, and we're just going to take him back to Oswald. <laughs> Fully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who would like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh, it's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. Did Ruid send you to? Speak now, and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. That won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. I killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord, to Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. You have scolded this man twice with forbidden words. It's now his right to kill you. Lick my tongue hole. Here is the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your ass? 
When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruit and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruit sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. So we do have an option here to kill him or keep him as a hostage. If we on. keep him as a hostage, die. she's just going to kill him. So we don't really have to worry about this choice. It's not going to affect this at all. I just want to throw this necessary. in here. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. You should have struck him down yourself. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already? I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course, I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're Next up in our objectives, we need to meet with our allies, and that is going to be north of East Anglia. Here is the location on our map. I'm going to go ahead and cut out all that traveling so we don't have to watch all that, and I will talk to you once we get there. Eivor, you made it. Dunwich. It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Ruther, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. So we need to eliminate everybody in here and what I like to do is just come up this right side and sneak on in. There is going to be a secret ability in here which I'm going to show you the location after we clear out everybody. There is going to be a key that we have to get in order to do that which I'll be pointing out that key location as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take everybody out. If you do go this way there is a chest that I'll be grabbing right when we walk in here. But after we take everybody out I will talk to you then.
back here! Once the brazier is lit, the rest of Ruth's men should arrive. Now that we have taken everybody out, we are ready to go get our ability, which is right below us. Now the key is going to be on this desk right here where we had to fight the Woe Bringer. Right after we pick that up, we want to go ahead and blow up these rocks that are on the ground right over here. We can just pick up one of these and we are just going to come over here and throw it. Then we are able to drop down and we will get our ability. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. Any questions you have, you ask the King of East Anglia, and bend the knee while you do. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia. And Valdus's husband-to-be. 
Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. <laughs> Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. What? The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdus and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of Sheep Shit! I'm ready! They're breaking off. They've given up for now. Let's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back! Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. So right after that, we have now completed a triumphant return, and now we are ready to go right into Raising Iron. We are going to have a new location on the map, and that is just to go back to Northwick, which we are just going to fast travel there, and I will talk to you after we get that dialogue. Oswald is dead! Oswald is dead! We must Another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. 
How can I face half on Jarl now? I've failed him again. We can take the battle to what remains of Ruit's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Bor Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We wreck your ship with oil at her front, and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming, long before we reached the walls. We raise a fiat, an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> You there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaithford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Finir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. With any hope, Thaithford remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so, but I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. If Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into defense to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid. To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. <laughs> I say you have some work yet to do. Right, right. No need to remind me of father for sure. Theobald, just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Ruid's men have been here. Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. Ah, uh, my friend, we will have a will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruid's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. Still a Dane from top to two, but your meddling that led to Oswald's death, leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald was a friend and ally, Reeve. He fought beside me, and I by him. And look where that got him. East Anglia will fall if Ruid's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off. For Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength and join us for the fight to come. Bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow when you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it. I'll know you kept your word. So right after that dialogue and cutscene, we need to head to Kingsbury. I'm going to show you the location on our map. We're going to go ahead and travel there real quick. And once we are there, we're going to go ahead and take everybody out. 
Now that you're at Kingsbury, what we want to do is go ahead and start a raid. And what we can do is go on the D-pad and on the left over here, we can start a raid. That is what we want to do so we can run in with our clansmen and open up the doors that we wouldn't be able to if we didn't start a raid. So we're just going to take everybody out. There is one treasure chest up here on the right. I'm going to grab that real quick. And then the rest, I'm going to go right after we clear everybody out. And I will talk to you then. So we can just collect all the silver in this room real quick. The key is in this room. It's going to be over here on the right. I'm going to go ahead and grab that right now. It will be right here. Once we pick that up over here on the left, we are going to have some new equipment that we can pick up along with some more silver. And then we are ready to leave this area and go right across and we will find an ingot.
to join me. Let's hope his promise holds. The horn! It's been so long! I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, aye. Theovord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burr Castle. So real quick, we have completed a triumphant return and raising iron. We will get our two skill points out of that mission. And now we are ready to go into a fury from the sea, which I'm going to be picking up in entry 12. So this is going to wrap up entry 10. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I will see you guys next time. Gold Hat, signing off.